and we are ready to play some baseball. Uh, Steve Woodard, uh, we saw Tupelo, Mississippi uh, score a 11-1 uh, to 1 victory earlier today. Now this ball game here, the winner is in the driver's yeah. seat between Hawaii and Maryland. Yeah, two uh, very equal ball teams. You know, they do all the little things. Uh, yesterday, both of them come up with a win. and Situational team, good pitching. So I'm looking forward to this matchup. And we talked about the fact that the uh, Stars division has the stage and the spotlight today. We saw earlier, as I mentioned, Mississippi picks up the victory. And uh, Maryland, Hawaii, two solid clubs, huh? So uh, who gets the inside track as far as the matchup? Man, I tell you what, it's a, it's a flip of a coin, you know. Uh, I mean, both these teams are, like I said, very equal. Uh, I think it's just going to be who can execute, maybe get a runner over, get him in. And I think it's going to be a low-scoring ball game. And, of course, uh, these teams will have the day off tomorrow. And we have three games uh, coming up tomorrow. And then, of course, uh, three games on Sunday with the semifinals coming up on Monday on ESPNU with the finals on Tuesday where they crown the championship. It starts at 7 o'clock on Tuesday. So once again, pitching has been the name of the game in the first day. And uh, we mentioned the fact that uh, Mississippi only had four hits in their first game. They came back with 10 hits and uh, they had 10 run rule to Fargo, North Dakota. And uh, you wonder who has the bigger, the better sticks. We talked with uh, Steve Zampano earlier today and he said he saw a couple of innings of this Hawaii team and he said they passed the eye test. Yeah, they passed the eye test, but uh, Coach Zampano, like he said, we do all the little things and man, they did yesterday. And you know, through strikes, uh, move runners over, and just a well-balanced ball club, and so is this Hawaii team also. Maryland comes in 26-2 and two after yesterday's victory, and uh, Hawaii out of Honolulu is 32-0. and 0. I mean, any pressure on these kids, the fact they haven't lost one game yet? Uh, you know, I, I don't think so. I mean, they're, they're just loose and ready to play. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. Uh, Philip McCarthy will be out in left field for Maryland. Uh, he'll bat first. Tyler Quaid, who came in in relief and uh, finished that game yesterday. He's the DH today. Dimitri Jamison, who had that big home run over the left field wall. He's out in right field hitting in the three hole. And Sean Cameron will be at first base hitting cleanup for Maryland. And they'll be facing uh, Ty Yokomoto of Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, and Ty's, he's gonna throw that fastball somewhere low to mid 80s. Uh, you know, and he has several different pitches, curveball, changeup, even throw a knuckleball, but uh, they're in the regional. I uh, didn't have a decision. Pitched six innings, ERA 3.50, opposite opposition batting average 348. So, you know, he's he's going to face a tough Maryland team. And there could be an argument: uh, he is their ace, or is he their ace? I guess we'll see tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll definitely be in the uh, the lineup, of course. Uh, the fact that he hit 571 in the regionals. You look at that uh, Hawaii defensive uh, lineup. It's uh, Yakiyama and uh, Ethan Thomas on the corners. Uh, Hiriyama and Oshiro in the double play combination. And you got uh, Po'opa Adaro in left field, Hunter Sasaki in center, and Alohi Areki out in right field with uh, Mike Zeller catching uh, Yokomoto uh, behind the plate. So we are ready to roll. It's going to be Philip McCarthy, the left fielder, stepping in to face uh, Tai Yokomoto to get things rolling here in the nightcap of uh, tonight's doubleheader. So McCarthy, a 5'10", 180-pounder, just graduated from uh, Chapacan High School. They won the 3A state championship up there in Maryland. Uh, he had 422 in the regular season. And as uh, Coach Zampano says, as he goes, the team goes. And the first pitch, a swing and a miss, and there's a strike. Yeah, and jumps ahead right there. You see that fastball right off the bat. Zampano said this team was built to compete at the state championship level. And for the state tournament, of course. And they beat a very talented North Carolina team in the regionals. And now they're eager to see how they fare here in the World Series. They looked pretty impressive yesterday. Caught the corner outside, so Yokomoto opens up with a strikeout, and uh, Philip McCarthy is caught looking. Yeah, I mean, can you do it any better than that? Three pitches, strikeout, and the ball looked like it was just on the middle outside part of the plate, maybe in a little easy slider. No, it was, a, it was like a changeup. Yeah. So. so that'll bring up Tyler Quaid. Quaid DHing here. Hitting from the left side, and the first pitch is just misses for a ball. 
Wade, 5'9", 180-pounder, just graduated from the same school, also a member of that uh, state championship team. Six members on this Legion team played on that high school state championship. And this one uh, barely missing, uh, but it's uh, two balls and no strikes on Tyler Quaid. Well, Mike, after starting out a uh, three pitches strike out, we're falling behind three and zero here. Three balls and one strike. Here's the delivery, and he lost him on a walk. So Maryland, uh, just like yesterday, opens up the opening frame with a base runner. So Quaid hits down to first after the base on balls. That'll bring up uh, Dimitri Jamison, who was swinging a really hot stick yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. Hit a home run yesterday. It actually made Sports Center top 10, number two play last night. And uh, man, he got after it yesterday. Two for three with the RBI. And that long home run over the left field wall. He steps in. Uh, Hitting a smooth 666 so far here <laughs> in the World Series. Of course, that's only after one game, but that puts him in the driver's seat to uh, get a few votes for the most valuable players. He's hit in the arm. So Yokomoto strikes out the first battery faces, and then he walks somebody, and then he hits Jameson. So Maryland has two runners on. Yeah, not uh, how Yokomoto wanted to, to go after striking out the first batter of the game, but... Uh, Still one pitch right here can get you out of this inning. This one's followed back to the screen. Sean Cameron, the uh, first baseman for this Maryland club, just graduated. Another member of that uh, state high school championship team. Hits for power as well as average, according to his head coach. And he had a good day at the plate yesterday, too. I think he was two for three yesterday yeah. with a couple, couple of RBIs. RBIs. Yeah. That's right. Yokomoto sends the runner back to second base. And he steps back on the rubber and all set to do it again. The 0-1 pitch. This one's grounded to Yakiyama. Steps on third for the force out. And his runners on first and second. So Cameron gets on with the fielder's choice. Yeah, and that was about all he could do there. He's looking to tack the bag and go to first with it, but just uh, didn't want to rush it and make a bad throw. So that'll bring up uh, with two outs, runners on first and second, Chase O'Dell. He was one for three with an RBI yesterday in that victory. This one's fouled down the first baseline, and it's 0 1. Zampano said that he knew this team could hit, knew they were solid defensively. Pitching may have exceeded his expectations. We'll see how that plays out for the rest of this World Series. Well, it sure did work yesterday. Uh, you know, Mr. Ledick. I think through six innings, 58 pitches. 58 pitches, 58 yeah. pitches in six innings. That's <laughs> we've seen impressive. Couple, we've seen a couple of guys go over 100. Yeah. So far in the first uh, two days. So misses outside. Ball one, strike two, two outs. Runners on first and second. Good quality pitch here. Fastball away off the plate. And Maryland team consistent. They averaged uh, six runs in the regionals. They picked up six runs yesterday. This one gets by uh, Micah Zeller, and the runners advance. So now that first run, just 90 feet away. For Chase O'Dell. Yeah, now that base hit now will, you know, drive in two. And
There comes a 2 2 pitch. Ball back to the screen. The count remains two and two, and two outs, two on. Odell heading for Frostburg State, the alma mater of his head coach. Hall of Fame head coach. That's right. At Frostburg State, to Steve Zampano in the top 10 still in hits, home runs. Yokomoto ready to go to work, and this one's fouled out of play. And still plays. You can still do it, they say. Oh, that's right. He does play in that, uh, that classic league down in Florida. Florida, yeah. And teams from what, Puerto Rico, Venezuela. Said he's in his 50s. He didn't look, when I ran into him, he didn't look like he was no. in his 50s. Pretty good. This one's outside. The count goes three balls, two strikes, two runners on, and two outs. As Ty Yokomoto tries to uh, work his way out of this first inning. There's a ground ball up the middle for a base hit. One run in. Here comes the second run. Sasaki bobbles it out there in center field. We've got a 2 nothing Maryland lead. Yeah, and Chase Odell took this fast ball and took it back up the middle. And like we said in the opening, they do all the little things, move them over and play good baseball. There's Logan Brock. Comes in with two outs. Not sure what that was right there. Maybe thought he missed home plate. Brock had a hot hat. He was the uh, hot bat, I should say, the MVP of the regional, hitting 538. 0 for 3 yesterday. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts. Yeah, and after throwing, Mike, after throwing three pitches to the first batter, this next pitch will be number 21. Runner was going. He follows this one back to the screen. And Mike Azella runs out of real estate. See if Chase Odell takes off again. That's kind of 2-1 now. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be in motion here, 2-1. Let him swing. Lifted a fly ball out to center field. Hunter Sasaki is there, and he squeezes it. And we played a half inning. But Maryland off to a good start, pushing two across. And we go to the bottom of the first. Hawaii coming up to take their first swings. USAA is made for the safe pilots, like Sergeant Hayden, who won't return a call until the engine's cool. With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. We were there to write the original GI Bill and get it signed into law when a community found itself in the middle of a natural disaster. For more than 100 years, veterans have been strengthening our nation through the American Legion, through programs that help our nation's youth become tomorrow's leaders, and by helping veterans receive the benefits they earn through their service. Learn more about how we're helping in your community at legion.org. USAA is made for the safe pilots, like Sergeant Hayden, who won't return a call until the engine's cool. With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. Well, Hawaii coming in for their first swings. Let's check their lineup now. Leading things off, playing right field is Alohi uh, Areki. Hitting second to uh, Hunter Hiriyama. Hiriyama playing shortstop, and DJ Akiyamoto at third base, hitting third. Ethan Thomas at first base will hit in the cleanup spot, and they'll be uh, facing on the hill Alan Miller. Yeah, they're going to be facing, I'm going to call him Howie, like his teammates do. Fastball 84 to 88, and uh, 
brings it up there pretty good. And the regional, he was 1 and 0, 12 and 2 thirds innings pitch, five strikeouts with an ERA of 2.21. Let's run on that uh, Maryland defense. First of all, on the uh, the corners, Ethan Naledic, yesterday's winner on the mound. Uh, Sean Cameron at first base, double play combination of Chase O'Dell and Logan Brock. Left to right in the outfield of Philip McCarthy, uh, Cole Tarleton, and Dimitri Jamison with uh, Brandon Mills behind the plate catching Howie Miller, as Howie, what he would yeah. say. First leadoff guy, Guy Alohi. Alohi Arecki, the right fielder, stepping in. Leads things off at 5'6. He's listed at 5'6. 160 pounds. And uh, the coaching staff says he can hit for power. Don't let that 5'6 frame fool you. And he can run. He's headed for St. Martin's and Lacey Washington. Play some baseball at a Division II school after this is all over. Yeah, and I think he fouled that one right off his front foot, right off the bat, or his shin. The Y is back here for the first time since 2015. For a while, they were a crowd favorite. For a while, they were here. Seems like almost every year. Kind of like that Midland, Michigan team. Michigan, after losing to Idaho three to two in a great ball game yesterday, they uh, they had the day off as in Idaho. Yeah, that was a good ball game. Really could have went either way, you know. I mean, Michigan puts a hit or two together yesterday, and they they may be the the winner of that game. And they're a good hitting club too. I was talking. They take on Beverly, Mass, Massachusetts tomorrow, and I talked to Mike Levine, the head coach there, and he said, "Yep, we've got our ace." We're going with our ace tomorrow against that Michigan team. So this time the ball hit him. So Recky will take the trot down to first base after he being hit by a pitch. And Hawaii, just like Maryland, gets a run around in the first inning. Yeah, and that uh, breaking ball that was down and in looked like it got him on the got him on the leg. So that'll bring up the shortstop Hunter Hiriyama. Brown. Oh, should have been fielded by Miller. And they're going to have two runners on. That's going to be an E1 right there. Just kind of skipped over his glove, or he might have yeah. taken his eye off it. Yeah, it looked like he was already turning to try to turn two with that, uh, with the ball, and was trying to throw it before he caught it. Let's see here if he took, takes his eye off of it. Man. Just missed it. DJ Akiyama steps in for the first time. Six feet, 170 pounder. He just graduated from high school. And they ended up calling that a single, Mike, uh, on that ball there. DJ's dad, Darren, one of the bench coaches uh, here for Hawaii. Today is uh, Academic Achievement Day at the ballpark, and uh, <laughs> this Hawaii team has five valedictorians on its roster. Five. Five valedictorians. And I know everybody at home's like, how did they have five <laughs> from the same high school? But they all had the same exact grade all the way through school. Yeah, with all the advanced courses. Yeah. And that is a, that's. And I think three of them from the same high school. And then maybe the other two from a different high school. But. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch, 0-2. Uh, And DJ Akiyama at 314 in the regular season. Those numbers dipped down to 176 in the regionals. This one's fouled. Uh, I've been informed that they gave that last one that uh, couldn't have been handled by Miller. They gave him a single on the base hit. So I guess I'll yeah, have to change I mean, that. That's, uh... I'm not sure how that could have been a single, but. I guess I'm not the official score, so. And we're going to go with Miss Joanne on that one then. So Joanne's feeling generous tonight. Yeah. Here's the 0-2 pitch. There's a bouncer. Nice backhand by Cameron. Cameron flips it over. Oh, we're going to have a 2-1 ball game right now. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. 
And we might have a 2-2 ball game. And it's going to be all tied up at 2-2. What a wild play this was. Cameron made a great backhanded stab down the line behind first base. And then, then the floodgates opened and the roof caved in. Yes, it sure did, Mike. And the pitcher just didn't get over in time and had to rush to try to find the bag. And was looking down to try to find the bag and lost the ball. And See right here, took his eye off of it right there, trying to reach for the bag and then threw the ball away going home. And then everybody. Let me ask you this, everywhere. Woody. Did they give you an error on the throw or did they get going basic because it was so hard to handle? I think they gave him an error on the throw to home where everybody. Oh, but I mean for. Uh... Wow. Okay, it was an error then. So there has to be another error in there somewhere too, don't it? So Akiyama, tough play Cameron made with that backhanded stab, but uh, they. He must have given him the air on the throw, I guess. Yeah. Or they, they gave the air on the pitcher for fielding air. Fielding air, and then, but how did, you know, I guess everybody advanced. I'm trying to figure out. There's got to be several more in there somewhere, don't it? That's a crazy start. Yes, it was, especially for this Maryland team, which we, we were talking about does not make a lot of mistakes. Nice breaking pitch. Off speed, swing and a miss. And Ethan Thomas goes down with a strikeout. First out of the inning, that's going to bring up a Tai Yokomoto. Yeah, that was a good breaking ball there. Well, Howie and just get him swing and miss on it. Ground ball. This time it's bad. Well, uh, bobbled by Cameron. Wow. He steps on the base and uh, the runner holds at third base. Wow. We got a lot of action going on here in this first <laughs> inning, don't we? I thought the runner on third would have probably broke right off the bat, but uh, didn't break, and Maryland gets away with one there. Yeah, usually my book gets messy in the seventh, eighth, ninth inning. Of course, these are only seven innings, but now all of a sudden my book is looking messy here in the first inning with all the action going on. There's a breaking ball to Hunter Sasaki. Sasaki, the uh, center fielder. There's a one bouncer down to Lettig. Ethan Lettig picks it up and fires it over to Cameron. They're out of the inning. Unfortunately uh, for Maryland, though, they would have got out of the inning earlier, but uh, Hawaii, they get one hit, but they push two across on the same play, and we are deadlocked at 2-2 two -two after one. The American Legion World Series is brought to you by the American Legion and by North Carolina Tourism. Well, getting ready to go to the second inning. It seems like maybe the fifth inning, uh, all that action in the first inning. Uh, it's all tied up at 2-2. I got us going up here, man. That was well, some action. Solid, fundamental ball club, and uh, Maryland was throwing it all over the... Yeah, all over the diamond on that one play. Yeah, and didn't have anybody covering third there. And... Here's the center fielder now, Cole Tarleton, leading things off in the second inning. He doubled last night. He was one for three with an RBI and a walk. 
There's another shot down Ooh. that first baseline. Right between the first base coach's legs, it looked like. Pat O'Dell. Probably would like another shot at that. Pat O'Dell, <laughs> the uh, first base coach. You know, and you got to give Hawaii credit. We were talking about it earlier. North Dakota yesterday made four errors, and they were able to put some runs up without getting any hits, and they've put two up here in the first inning with only one hit. Swing and a miss and a strikeout. Yokomoto gets his first K. Seems like that's a theme yeah. in this uh, in this World Series so far that teams are getting more runs than hits. Yeah, and you look at this high fast ball. Just couldn't catch up to him. Impossible to lay off that pitch, though. <laughs> yes, it is. Here's Ethan Lettig. Pitched a brilliant game last night to pick up the victory. Hiriyama picks it up easily and fires it across to Thomas. And there's two down. So Maryland at the bottom of the order already. Brandon Mills getting ready to step in for the first time. Yeah, and we were talking about catchers uh, yesterday. I think uh, Coach Zampano's son was the catcher. and You said 1A, 1B. And Brandon Mills, I, he told me today, Coach Zampano, that it had more of a little chemistry because uh, he had caught him during the regular season. Uh, so he has him behind the plate tonight. Yeah, that's huge, huh? Yeah. If you uh, can form some chemistry with a pitcher, a lot of times the pitcher will say, hey, I prefer this catcher. Yeah. Nothing personal against the yeah. other catcher, but I don't know if that was ever the case with you. But Yeah, I mean, you have some good chemistry with certain guys, and you don't have to worry about what sign they put down. You just go at it. There's a dribbler towards second. It's going to be tough to play. and Actually, uh, Vance Oshiro... A little upset right now with Ethan Thomas. Ethan Thomas kind of cut him off. They're having some discussions out there on the right side of the infield. Yeah, and Ethan should have, you know, I think he went a little too far over there in front of the second baseman and kind of cut his view off so we see it here. And yeah, so he <laughs> couldn't see the ball. Well, I'm waiting for the scoreboard, but I'm going to give an E on that one. It would have been a tough play. Yeah, I think they're going to give it a hit. Well, Maryland already to the uh, top of the order again in the second inning. Here's Philip McCarthy who struck out. I'm going to take over while I change my scorebook again. I had an E4. They gave him a base hit on that. It would have been a yeah, tough play. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, it was a tough play. Uh, it, was, it was hit slow enough that it was going to be tough. It was going to be a bang-bang bang yeah, play. I don't think anybody ever even touched it, though, is the, is the reason. No, I, I think they did. Did they? Yeah. I, think, uh, I think Oshiro actually... Popped over his glove right. because Ethan Thomas got in his way. We can see. Yeah. Yeah. And that's always the tough one, even for a pitcher going to cover first base, for to get over there and turn around and reach for that ball on the flip. Two outs. Here's the one-one pitch. It's outside. Two balls and a strike. To Philip McCarthy. Yeah, and you see right, yeah. Okay, right, see right there, it hit him. On the left foot, it just kind of skipped over his glove. I don't blame him, but yeah. it's still an error, I think. Yeah. And if he could have got his hands on the ball, I think he could have got it. It would have been a bang-bang play, but uh, hey, I'm not this worker, it's just, just my opinion. Glad he got a hit. I'd rather have the young man. Absolutely. Boost his back. Absolutely. <laughs> but you see, I'm the pitcher, man. We want to watch it here, right? There's another strikeout. So Philip McCarthy, the leadoff man, who hit 422 in the regionals, has back-to-back -back strikeouts now against Yokomoto. We played one and a half. And nothing across for Maryland in the second inning. We go to the bottom of the second. And it's still deadlock at 2-2.
hear the waves? Yeah. It's the first that stay with us. They make our hearts race. Our eyes widen. Look. Our hands sweat. The lines of our smiles deepen in our cheeks. The magic of experiencing something for the very first time never gets old. Come, experience first that last in North Carolina. We are family. We are music. We are creative. We are active. We are community. Welcome to Shelby. Welcome to Shelby. Welcome to Shelby. Welcome to Shelby. Bottom of the second inning here in uh, Keter Stadium. 2-2 uh, tie. Hawaii coming in right now. Look at the tiara. There was that yeah. little girl. She was waving at yeah. the crowd last night when they had the parade. She was down on the field. Yeah. Cowboy hat. Yeah. Everybody enjoying the game. Everybody trying to shake off what happened in that first inning. Kind Man, of. Yeah. There's Vance O'Shiro, the second baseman, leading things off. A shot right up the middle. Oh, wow. Great effort. Look at this. Unbelievable. Oh. Pulls Cameron off the base. Otherwise, what a great play by Chase O'Dell. Yeah, if that throw was on, if that throw was on line, he was going to be out, I think. What a great effort. He play completely out. And, yeah, he, it had been close. Wow, what an effort. Yes. And he would have had him. Yeah, you're right. The throw pulled uh, Sean Cameron off the base, but what an effort. Fantastic. Well, you, that might have been top ten, you know. We'd have had two nights in a row, back to back. No, I gave him a base hit, okay? Did you give him a hit? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a... A near miracle if they would have got him, but uh, I gave him a base hit. Micah Zeller lays down a bunt. Hawaii actually got a bunt down. Oh, my goodness. And the sacrifice bunt uh, pushes the runner down to second base. So Oshiro at second. Off of the sacrifice bunt. You want to tell that story Man, about I tell you what. Ole we were, Gante? <laughs> yes, I mean, they like 0 for 12 or 13, he said, over the regionals and everywhere, state tournament. He said he thought that maybe not don't bunt on purpose, <laughs> you know, just to hit. But man, that was a good job. Here's Jaron uh, Poopa Adero playing left field. Poopa Adero. Call him Poe. That's what they call him. One down, runner in scoring position now. Breaking pitch. Ooh, nice pitch, but misses for a ball. And I don't know if I've ever seen this before. The flaps actually on the. Backside of the helmet. I'm assuming he's a switch hitter in my notes. Yeah, you can see there the helmet. Usually you have that flap there on the front to guard the front side of your face. And he goes the opposite way, finds the hole on the left side. Runners on the corners now with just one down. Nice piece of hitting by Jaron uh, Poopa Adaro. Yeah, very good job of hitting there, taking that ball the other way. And see him here just reach out and poke at the left field. And this is what he told us. At our meeting the other day, get runners on the corners, got some good speed, make some things happen, and make the defense play. Go ahead, run. Down at third base now. Here's uh, Alohi Areki, who was hit by a pitch and scored back in the first. Well, this, he's got his flap on, right? Ooh, they almost got him. Oh, that was close. 
Dave Brown down at first base, humping, nonchalant, saying, no, he's back. Runner's going. Here's the throw, and it's high. Oh, that's dangerous. Over through the second baseman. It's supposed to be a cut and went all the way to the shortstop. And nice job by Odell. Yeah, luckily he was there. Second baseman's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be to him. And he's behind the bag, and luckily he was there. Yeah, Chase Odell saved a run right there. And maybe is he okay there at second? Ole Gante, the head coach here, 20 plus years coaching this Legion team. He said this team has great chemistry. I guess you'd have to see in that 32 and 0 record. Yeah. Fifth trip here for them. And still searching for that first title. And they have fun. You, they have fun playing the game. And our coaches' meeting was a lot of fun too, wasn't yeah, it? It certainly was. This one's in for a strike. And it's one and two as. Howie Miller gets ahead in the count. Yeah, and this is where he's trying to trying to get a strike out here with the less than two outs, maybe bury that breaking ball in the dirt. There's a breaking pitch. Goes to the right side, run scores. So Brock picks it up, fires the Cameron for the second out. But we've got a, a three to two ball game. Yeah, get him over, get him in and how he was wanting to get that ball down in the dirt there, try to get him to swing over the top of it and get a strike out. But you can see this pitch right here and just up enough to get the bat on it. And he does his job driving in that run. So Hunter uh, Hiriyama steps in for the second time. He singled and scored back in the first. Nice pitch. Uh, here Yama almost went after it. Good hitter. You don't want to give him too much to hit. This young man, they said, super smooth on the field as well as the classroom. A 4.5 GPA. 4.5, and he's not, not one the of the valedictorians. <laughs> That's what we said. 4.5, but no, he's not one of the valedictorians. He's headed for St. Martin's College to play some baseball. He was three for three on stolen bases. Uh, the only real, real threat in that regional for Hawaii. Ooh, some chin music. pitch walked him on four pitches runners on the corners with two outs one run in we've got uh, Poopa Odaro down at third base Hiriyama at first base now and here's the DJ uh, Akimoto Yeah, it looks like Coach Simpano is going out to have a word with him and make him relax a little bit. Never seen a meeting, though, halfway between the pitcher's mound and home plate. Seen a lot of first here in this World Series. Miller had a great performance in that championship game of the regional to beat a North Carolina team stacked with uh, Division I players. He threw a complete game, four-hitter. And... Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, I think uh, Steve Zampano said he beat a Clemson commit. Yeah, beat a Clemson commit. And I think what they just had a meeting about, just what just happened a minute ago when they threw that ball down, they're trying to make sure they're on the same page with runners on first and third about what they're going to do. That breaking ball, nice job by Brandon Mills behind the plate protecting. Smothered that one. Gets by the catcher, we've got a 4-2 ball game. Come on, come on. 
Left-handed hitter hits it into his own dugout on the first baseline. That is called being way ahead of the pitch. Well, Sean Cameron uh, better be on his toes because uh, yeah. everything's going to that yeah, right side, right down the line. You gotta wonder if he's gonna take off at first base here. It's like they're giving him second where they're playing at the middle infield. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Out of the inning, but they push one more across. So Hawaii gets two in the first and one more in the second inning. And it's a 3-2 ball game. Hawaii sitting on top of Maryland after two. Back inside Keter Stadium, looking at Saturday's schedule. Uh, lead things off with Iowa against Idaho. Iowa looking for their first win. Uh, Idaho trying to get to 2-0. Idaho, the uh, defending champions, of course. A really, really interesting game in that second game. Michigan and Massachusetts. That'll be the 4 o'clock matchup. And then uh, Tupelo, Mississippi will take on this Hawaii team at 7.30 tomorrow night. This one's 3-2. Hawaii sitting on top. Hawaii trying to get to 2-0. 3-3-0 oh, with Maryland at 2-2-1. Two, two Here's Tyler Quaid stepping in for the second time to lead things off in the third inning. The DH, he walked and scored back in the first. This one's fouled out of play down the third baseline. And he's behind at the count 0-2. Just about the same place. Fall down the left field line. And the count remains 0-2 on a 5'9", 180-pounder. Coach calls him the most flamboyant on the team. And I think he was more referring to when he pitches. Says he'll come at you sometimes really slow, wind up, he'll speed it up, and sometimes give you a, a Louis Tiant. Yeah, Louis. Hey. Back to back to back foul balls down that left field line. But Opa Adaro better be on his toes out there in left field. Louis Tiant, he had to change his motion. That's where all that came from because he hurt his arm and back then didn't have surgery on the arm. And had to figure out a way to get guys out. You're not talking about the leg kick, though. I mean, just yeah, the, the leg kick, yeah. the change in speed. Yeah, they had to figure out a way to get the hitters timing off. Uh, oh, really? I was fortunate enough to be around Louie when I played in Boston. He'd be uh, he was there in spring training and around. And good man. There's a swing and a fly ball out to right field, and a recce's there to pull it in. as one down, and that looked like maybe a knuckleball there, if I'm not mistaken. It was either knuckleball or Ephus pitch. So here comes Dimitri Jameson, who was hit by a pitch and scored back in the first inning. And it was a knuckleball. 
It's kind of a half swing, too, huh? Yeah, I mean, he was out in front of it big time. There's a check swing. And then Yokomoto flips it over to Thomas, saying there's two up and two down very quickly. I'm sure Jameson would love to have that at bat. Yeah. Again. After getting hit in the first at bat, he was pretty aggressive there. So Cameron steps back in. Got on with the fielder's choice. He follows it out of play. And what are the odds? You pointed out yesterday that uh, he's headed for Brunswick Community College here in North Carolina. They played their regional in North Carolina. Guess he won't have to uh, go home and pack up. I don't know if I want to go all the way back there and then come all the way back. Uh, Brunswick in uh, Bolivia, North Carolina. O2 pit, swing and a miss, and Yokomoto has his second strikeout. Nothing across for Maryland. And back to back innings now after pushing two across in the first inning. We head for the bottom of the third. Hawaii holding on to that one run, three to two lead. And we're back inside Keter Stadium. Mike Gleason along with the, the major leaguer, uh, Steve Woodard. He made his major league debut, striking out 12 to beat Roger, the Rocket Clemens. Here's Ethan Thomas, who struck out back in the first inning, taking his second swings here in the bottom half of number three. Well, Thomas. Wow. Boy, that's a good piece of hitting if he tried to do that. Found the hole on the right side and uh, drilled it through. Yeah, and you wonder, you know, you talk about guys setting guys up. First at bat, strikes out on a breaking ball, and then here comes another breaking ball early in the count and just takes it the other way for a hit. So Yokomoto, the 5'8", 155-pounder, steps in from the left side. Listed at 5'8", Gante thinks he's more like 5'6". What do you think? You've been down there, you talk to those guys. Yeah, he's about five, six, but man, my man at first, Thomas, like Aaron Judge, you know? <laughs> he's a big guy. He's big. I didn't realize how big Aaron Judge was. I mean, I, you know how tall he is yeah. until you see him. I saw him at the All-Star game. I thought, boy, he is a big dude, man. But weight-wise, big. Yeah. He's just big yeah. body. He chased down that ball in right field. There's a swing and a miss, a drive out to right. This is going to be trouble. Rolls all the way past Arecki. So Jamison retrieves it at the wall and runners on a second and third. The way that ball took off, I thought, they'd, I thought they were going to score, actually. Yeah, I think he took a wish he had that one back. The route he took going to that ball. You talk about Thomas being so such a big physical stature, he might have scored maybe if it was one of the smaller guys. Cause right, he thought he actually was going to catch that ball, and he kind of held on and to make sure it got over his head. Here's Hunter Sasaki. 
He grounds it out to the third baseman. This time, he ground ball to shortstop, backhand. It's going to bring in a run. Odell fires it over to Cameron. But Thomas scores, and we've got a 4-2 ball game. Yeah, and that was a good job of hitting. Infield was playing back, but Thomas at third base, if you're watching, held on until the ball was way deep at shortstop. So Vance Oshiro, the second baseman, singled and scored back in the second. So he's one for one. And now they're bringing the infield middle in, not all the way in, but playing in a little bit. You can see the shortstop second baseman usually play a little deeper if they're going to play back, but. But once we got past the uh, the Maryland's mishap in the first inning, this is turning out to be a pretty good entertaining baseball game. Yeah. I like the way Hawaii plays. So Dante said that uh, fifth trip here, still searching for that first one. Seems like they get to the semifinals and then they blow it. That was a nice breaking pitch in for a strike. Yeah, and we talked to uh, Coach Gante today. We were in here in the uh, press box talking to him on the phone earlier today, and he said a lot of his guys were nervous and shaking at the plate yesterday. And he was just laughing as he was telling us that. He's like, why in the world are y'all nervous? But he did see one of his players lay down a nice bunt today. Yes, he did. So now when we talk to him tomorrow, <laughs> he's going to be like, they got one down. 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball. Followed back to the screen. It's 1-2 and two on Vance Oshiro. Graduated last year from uh, Mililani High School. Ground ball, right side. Oh, another run scores. Cameron probably should have let Brock handle that one deep in the hole. We've got a five to two ball game. Yokomoto scores the second run of the inning. Yeah, and we're seeing things, you know, we were talking about. How Maryland, you know, don't make a lot of mistakes, and they've made just a few mistakes here to, you know, early in this game that have cost them. Well, it looks like that's going to do it uh, for Howie Miller. So Miller had that uh, complete game uh, victory in the championship game of the regionals, winning 8-1 over North Carolina. Makes a long walk back to the dugout. We're back inside Keter Stadium, and uh, Tommy Miller goes two and a third. And Tyler Quaid is going to be our pitcher. Tyler Quaid uh, finished out the game, closed it out for Lettig yesterday. Yes, he did. Yeah, yesterday, one inning pitch, one hit. Didn't give up any runs, no walks, no strikeouts, and Tyler on the air was 3-0, and oh, and those 82 85 throw strikes he came in yesterday throwing strikes and finished the game out yesterday so trying to keep this game five to two here Wade opened up as the DH and Miller was not in the offensive lineup so nothing will change as far as that batting order he'll come in and face some Micah Zeller Zeller the uh, the young man who uh, laid down that good sacrifice bunt yeah. that had to uh, make Ali Gante happy 
Here's the numbers on uh, Miller goes two and a third. Yeah, two and a third, six hits, five runs, three earned, one walk, two strikeouts, three 44 pitches, still responsible for the uh, for the runner on first base. But we have, I mean, like we said, this has been a crazy ball game with some of the things that went on and a lot of action here in three innings of baseball. Well, Quay, the MVP of the state tournament, see if he can uh, settle things down right now and uh, keep Hawaii off the board. So Hawaii, they've scored in every inning so far, two, one, and two. But still batting in the third with just one down. So Micah Zeller steps back into the box. Just to graduate from Pearl City High School. He's one of the five valedictorians. Smart, according to Dante, not just in school, but a very high baseball IQ as well. Said he's a very quiet young man, but nine times out of ten, he's going to wind up putting the ball in play. Well, he got that bunt down. Yep. So. Coming off a uh, regional where he hit 500. So Quaid with the first pitch. Wow. Not sure where that was at. I'm not sure what that pitch was, to be quite honest with you. It was like a knuckleball. Yeah, I'll be done. Knuckleball. I can't, I can't throw a knuckleball. I would love to be able to throw a knuckleball. Did he really throw it? Yeah, I can't knuckleball. tell from up here. Yeah. So it looks like the speed hasn't changed that much. Usually a knuckle comes floating in. So it's not exactly a Wilbur Wood knuckleball. But <laughs> One ball and one strike. This one misses for a ball. It's two and one. Yeah, and you see the difference there in the speed, and how quick that was, that fastball. And then probably used that knuckleball as his changeup. Look at those numbers, huh? 22, easily read. I guess you guys could barely read the numbers yesterday, huh? In the unis? Yeah, that was tough. Slow breaking pitch. Nice pitch by Quaid. It's two and two. Yeah, I don't know how many more uniforms they're going to break out on us. This is, <laughs> I've seen three or four, three sets, I guess. Yeah, when I was 18, I played on Legion Ball. Our uniforms looked like potato sacks. I mean, I was telling my 10-year-old grandson down in Alabama that uh, they've got four uni or three or four uniforms with their names on the back and numbers on the helmets. The kids have no idea how lucky playing on grass infields we played on dirt first time we played on a grass infield we thought we were in heaven you're supposed to say no it's Iowa <laughs> and that was pretty cool I saw some uh, replays of uh, you know the game there that they played at the field of dreams and I forgot to watch that, that last night. turned out I saw some replays of some highlights and that was pretty cool anybody come walking out of the cornfields yeah, oh, the really? yeah, the intro to the game was no yeah, them walking though. out. And Fly ball out to right field, and that's going to be the second out. Jamison's there to pull it in. So Zeller flies out to the Jamison and Wrights, and uh, Jaron uh, Boopa Adero stepping in after singling back in the second inning. But they didn't have any uh, ghosts or dead guys come walking out. No, so. no, they didn't have that. Uh, but, <laughs> but it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. So I'm assuming they're going to do that every year there, at least uh, one game. They didn't dress anybody up like Shoeless Joe Jackson and come walking in. And... Uh, I, don't, I don't, I, you know, I didn't get to see a lot of it. But Shoeless Joe, that's a. Did they use old unis? They and... did. Did they did use old unis? Yeah. Yeah. 
That's cool. What's the dimensions of that ballpark? Is there a fence or is it just cornfields? Yeah, I think they made it. Yeah, they made it where it looked like there was no fence, and you know we were trying to pull it up and look and see. You know, it was like plexiglass or oh, I see. something right, right in front of the corn. High pop up left side, and Brandon Mills is calling for it. The catcher, ooh, he's got it. Wow. And that's going to end the inning, but. Uh, Hawaii gets two more across. And for the fourth right now, those Hawaiians lead it by three, five to two. You hear the waves? Yeah. It's the first that stay with us. They make our hearts race. Our eyes widen. Look. Our hands sweat. The lines of our smiles deepen in our cheeks. The magic of experiencing something for the very first time never gets old. Come, experience first that last in North Carolina. When our veterans came home from serving their country, the American Legion helped them with the GI Bill to get a head start. When they came home from Vietnam, we helped those affected by Agent Orange to get care and compensation. Now, a new generation is dealing with their own challenges. Every day, 22 veterans who put their lives on the line for our country came home and took their own. As it has for over 100 years, the American Legion continues to advocate for our veterans so when they leave service, there's a place for them to go to continue serving and, when needed, to get help. Trailing by three, uh, Maryland now uh, sending a Chase O'Dell, Logan Brock, and a Cole Tarleton to the plate here. In the fourth inning, facing a Tai Yokomoto. Winner gets to go to 2 0 here in this pool play of the 2021 American Legion World Series. Odell steps in and a couple of RBIs with a single back in the first inning. Drove in Quaid and Jamison after going one for three with an RBI last night. So it looks like he's back on track after hitting 304 in the regular season. It dipped down to 231 in the regionals. Gets under this one and lifts up a high fly ball over to center field. Hunter Sasaki moves to his left and pulls it in for the first out. So here's Logan Brock. After getting the MVP of the regional, still looking for his first base hit. Flew out to uh, Sasaki in his only at bat. After going 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts last night. And that's Yukimoto's 50th pitch. Oh, and 2. That was a pretty pitch right yeah, there. Yeah, he's starting to settle in. Working fast and throwing all these pitches for strikes now. Maybe he was nervous too, starting again. <laughs> I can't blame him. No, not at all. Wow, that was a quick, quick out. Logan Brock gets caught looking. Standing by the roadside like an old barn right there. Yeah, especially after you throw him two breaking balls to start to count off and then you throw that fastball just right there mm. outside corner locks him up. Well he placed that beautifully. Perfect. There's Tarleton who also struck out back in the second inning. His only at, at bat. Yokomoto trying to make it a quick inning. It's a shot handled nicely. Oshiro picks it up and fires to Thomas, and it's a one, two, three inning for Tai Yokomoto. Late three and a half, it's still 5 2 Hawaii. USAA is made for the safe pilots. For Mac, who can come to a stop with barely a bobble. 
Lucia, who announces her intentions, even if no one's there. And Sergeant Moore, who leaves room for her room. With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. Get a quote and start saving. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. We were there to write the original GI Bill and get it signed into law. When a community found itself in the middle of a natural disaster, for more than 100 years, veterans have been strengthening our nation through the American Legion, through programs that help our nation's youth become tomorrow's leaders, and by helping veterans receive the benefits they earn through their service. Learn more about how we're helping in your community at legion.org. The American Legion World Series is brought to you by the American Legion and by USAA. Renovations going on to Keter Stadium. I thought it was a nice stadium before, and now they uh, do some improvements this year there, buddy. Yeah, they sure did, man. I'm playing surface several months ago. Uh, irrigation, drainage, because, you know, the rain and wouldn't drain very well, and fix the pitcher's mound, batter's box, move the outfield walls in, warning track in. It, it looks amazing. I like the fact that the uh, fences came in about 10 feet, too, huh? I mean, yeah, it's made it more interesting with the, you know, with the home run. Yeah, outside of Louisiana last year, they had five homers uh, for years. We barely saw any home runs here. Yeah, but all the home runs this year so far would have been out. Didn't matter where it was at. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Alohi Areki steps in. Hit by a pitch and scored in the first. Got on with a fielder's choice, but got the RBI in the second. Leads things off here in the bottom half of the fourth inning for Honolulu. Facing uh, Tyler Quaid, who relieved uh, Alan Miller. Who's, I think officially is Howard Miller. He goes by Allen, and his teammates, as you pointed out, call him Howie. And we call so, him Howie. <laughs> or I call him Howie. <laughs> you can say we. We. I call him Howie. Everybody calls me Woody, so got to have a nickname. First thing they give you in baseball. That's a term of endearment, right? <laughs> and if you don't have a nickname... There's the 2 0 pitch. Well, this one's popped up on the left side, and uh, he really got under this one. He finally comes down, and uh, Ethan Luddick, the third baseman, <laughs> moved to his left, back to his right, over to his left again, and finally came down, and there's one out. And it wasn't because of the wind. No. The it's, flag is sitting dead still. And that thing was, uh, we've seen a few major league pop ups here. Yeah. Hiriyama, Hunter Hiriyama, he singled and scored back in the first inning. Walked in the second, so he's one for one. And there's that knuckleball. You gotta love Hiriyama, no batting gloves. Ooh, nice pitch. <laughs> I don't see many guys do that anymore. Fly ball out to center field. Uh, Tarleton's there, pulls it in. There's two down. Hiriyama wears that glass, batting and you know, uh, at shortstop. Yeah. It's got to be tough with it, as hot as it is. DJ uh, Akiyama got on with an air. His first at bat struck out in a second. He's 0 for 2. Ooh. Akiyama, a couple of hits, a couple of RBIs in the regional championship game. A dust off right there <laughs> on the inside. Up and in. Knuckleball, maybe. Well, you got good eyes. I thought he just uh, was an off speed pitch, but. Not to... 
There was again. I'm just I'm watching how he puts it in his glove. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you can see it dancing around a little bit. Two outs. Here's the two-two pitch. Oh, did you see that wind up? Yeah. And the leg kicking around. You know, and it's to the umpire's discretion yeah, yeah, if I he know. can call delay a game or not. You know, you don't see it happen that many times where he went three times, three pumps, but I thought maybe you can get away a, with two, but I three maybe is tough. Maybe a rock in his shoe or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lost him on a 3 2 count. So Akiyama. Draws a walk with the two down. Here comes the big guy, Ethan Thomas, struck out, and then he singled and scored back in the third. So he's one for two. What was your best pitch in the bigs? The fastball, you said? Uh, well, fastball change up. I threw fastball about 40% of the time, change up 50% of the time, and then yeah? breaking ball about 10%. Really? Yeah. That was, uh, I used my change up a lot. I was able to throw it all kinds of different speeds and throw it for a strike. How long did it take you to learn how to throw different speeds with a change up? Most, there's the runners going. Here's the throw in time. Beautiful throw that time. He nails him at second base. Hats off to Brandon Mills and that toss down to second. So Hawaii leaves the runners stranded. Or nailed it. I guess they don't leave them stranded. Nailed at second base for the first time. They don't score tonight. Big goose egg on the scoreboard in the fourth, but they still lead by three, five to two. USAA is made for the safe pilots, like Sergeant Hayden, who won't return a call until the engine's cool. With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. As Cleveland County's premier event facility, LaGrand Center is the ideal location for any event. The LaGrand Center is located 45 minutes west of Charlotte, 45 minutes north of Spartanburg, and just a little over an hour east of Asheville. Whether you're a small business looking for a place for an off-site meeting or a bride looking for that special location for her wedding, LaGrand Center is the perfect place for you. USAA is made for the safe pilots, like Sergeant Hayden, who won't return a call until the engine's cool. With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. Here comes Maryland in uh, inning number five right now. They've uh, In the regionals, they had two one-run games. They had a two-run game and finally finished with an 8-1 final. Right now, they're down by three, five to two. Ethan Luttig, yesterday's winner on the hill, leads things off here in number five for Maryland. He grounded out to uh, Hirayama at shortstop in his first at bat. Fastball in for a strike. Both teams 1-0. Uh, the winner drive moves into the driver's seat or is sitting pretty as far as getting to the semifinals, at least on Monday. There's a bouncer. Hirayama picks it up, fires it across his body. Over to Ethan Thomas. Nice play that time of the shortstop, Hunter uh, Hirayama. Yeah, very nice play coming in. On the move and throwing it on the run. Reminds me of Omar Vizquel. Ooh. Omar, I used to live in Columbus when Omar played for the Indians. Your buddy, Jim Tomei. And... Yeah. He's always a fun interview, too. 
Good man. And some guys you didn't want to even approach. He's such a such a good guy. He could never tell you no. Well, we'll see if Hiriyama picks this one up, backhanded, and wow. fires it across. Yeah, impressive. Yes, very impressive there. They so, look easy. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty smooth. And that was a tough play. Watch it right here. Let's see this. It's deep, pretty deep in the hole here. Backhand. Man. Nice arm. Good gun from short. Back to back. Six to threes. Here's the top of the order with Philip McCarthy. Well, McCarthy hitting a 422 in the regular season, 0 for 3 last night. Two strikeouts already. He had two strikeouts. He struck out four times already. <clears throat> up and in, thought it got him. Ooh, I thought it got his shoulder. I was too. up here. I was, I was going for him. I was. <laughs> wow. Beautiful pitch by Tai Okamoto. One and two now. And Philip McCarthy, who homered twice in the state tournament. Another player headed for Brunswick Community College. A swing and a miss. And Yokomoto has a quick one, two, three inning here in number five. And we're headed for the bottom of the fifth. The team from Honolulu coming in to take some more swings. Holding on to that three point lead. Yokomoto's looking tough on the hill. Night starts to fall in Shelby, North Carolina. And will the curtain drop on Maryland as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, trailing by three? Here comes Ethan Thomas, who's singled, and scored back in the third. He was batting in the last inning when uh, DJ uh, Akiyama tried to steal second base and ended the inning. So Thomas steps back in again. There's a breaking pitch. Hits the corner. I'm not sure what that was there. Ethan Thomas at 6'6", 235. There's a bouncer to Odell. But we've seen some good shortstop play yeah. here. Yes, we have. And he nearly made a play earlier in the game, Mr. Odell did, that uh, would have made our top 10. Well, Ethan Thomas, he was offered uh, by the University of Hawaii, and then COVID hit. And they pulled the offer and they invited him to walk on and then they pulled the walk on offer and he wound up at Yabapai College in Arizona. Here's Yokomoto. Jumps on the first pitch and fouls it off. He singled and scored. Back in the third inning. I tell you what, he's doing a great job. He's come in and kind of shut the door down. Long fly ball. 
This one's foul over the bullpen. Yeah, and that may have been that knuckleball that we've been talking about. And it went yeah, right up in his eyes. And turned on him. Bit of a half swing, and uh, Odell fires it across to uh, Cameron, and there's two down. So if it's not uh, Hunter uh, Hirayama getting things done with the uh, back-to-back plays, now it's Chase Odell with the uh, back-to-back six to threes. There's Hunter Sasaki. Who grounded out uh, to the shortstop, but uh, picked up an RBI in his last at-bat. I'll tell you what, when you throw that knuckleball or throw something slow like that, and then you pop that fastball in there, it looks like it's 100 miles an hour. There's a shot. Tough play for Ludwig, uh, but that has to be an E5, but uh, they'll probably give him a base hit. He tied him up. It was tough to handle, but definitely playable. I gave it a hit. Well, it was hit hard, okay? No, it was, it was hit hard. <laughs> Here's Vance Oshiro. Uh-oh. This is what happened back in the first inning when Hawaii put two across. Well, he wanted third. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't make him throw it. Well, the way they're throwing the ball around, maybe it would be, thought it was safer just to keep him at second base with two outs. Yeah, you don't want to make that third out there at uh, third base. You can see right here. And the replay ball away and slipped. That's why he, he slipped going around second and he had to go back. Or he'd have made it easy. So Ashiro uh, getting a start tonight, uh, whether it's coming out of the bullpen or as a position player, Gante says it's uh, usually this guy first off the bench. Ashiro getting the start at uh, second base tonight. And this one. Tyler Quaid might have been a little bit rattled after that last play, and the runner moves down to a third base now. And I'm thinking he may have crossed him up here. Let's see. Because that was a fastball that he didn't even get his hands on. Let's see. It looks like he's looking for something slow, and he throws that fastball. Yeah. Lucky he didn't get the umpire. Fly ball and coming in fast is the center fielder Tarleton. They're out of the inning, so Hawaii leaves another stranded again. The bottom line is uh, they kept them off the board, but they still trail by three, five to two. Not well, like yesterday, Maryland uh, struck first early. Chase Odell got him going. Yeah, Chase got him going early, and uh, they got two runs up on the board quick. And then it was, uh, from there, Mike, it was all Hawaii. And uh, like so many times, the floodgates open up when the airs 
Yeah, we've seen that happen here in this World Series where the errors happen and then the floodgates come open and man, plays that Maryland usually makes has got them down five to two. Here's Tyler Quaid leading things off. In the Maryland half of number six, that scoreboard at two, two, and two, two errors. Uh, that's generous in my estimation. Yeah, very, but uh, Yukimoto, five innings pitch, two hits, two runs, two earned. He's pitched extremely well. Nice play, shortstop, Hariyama. Yeah. They elevate just a little bit. Yeah, they're going to have to start hitting it away from him and not to, not toward shortstop. Squared it up and that ball's hit pretty hard. Most shortstops love playing the game. You can tell he just loves playing out there at shortstop. Yeah, he does. And Here's Jamison. He's all over the place. Dimitri Jamison had the big stick last night. Here's Jamison, uh, the play that made the uh, Sports Center top 10, number two, coming in from right field. Ooh. That was a great play. Ooh. Man. Hiriyama again. Look at this vacuum cleaner. Wow. <laughs> my goodness. Wow. He's already in my book as the top defensive player here. Yeah, Yokomoto even stepped off the hill to give him a little high five. Man. I mean, smooth hands and good feet and gets rid of it. Fun to watch. So two up and two down. Here's uh, Sean Cameron. Got on with the fielder's choice, and he struck out back in the third. He's 0 for 2. He dusted that inside corner for a strike. So Cameron, uh, 2 for 3 with a couple of RBIs last night. He had five base hits, all singles in the regionals. Good year for the family. Sean's high school team, of course, as I mentioned several times, won the state championship. They won the states at Legion, the regional and Legions. Here they are in the World Series. His brother won the Division Three World Series at Salisbury State. And Ty Yokomoto has a 1-2-3 inning, just like that. So we go to the bottom half of the inning now. It's still 5-2, to two, Hawaii on top. The strength of our country hasn't just been won on the battlefield. It's won every day in our communities when we come together in our toughest times. For over 100 years, the American Legion has been strengthening communities by providing life-saving help and support to our veterans and neighbors during our nation's toughest times. It's what the Legion's all about. We are the American Legion, veterans strengthening America. To learn how you can help, visit legion.org. You hear the waves? Yeah. It's the first that stay with us. They make our hearts race. Our eyes widen. Look. Our hands sweat. The lines of our smiles deepen in our cheeks. The magic of experiencing something for the very first time never gets old. Come, experience first that last in North Carolina. That's Hunter picking up. Number two. Michael Zeller. Number two. And back inside Keter Stadium now as we go to the bottom half of number six. It's going to be Michael Zeller followed by uh, Jaron uh, Poopa Adero. And then back to the top of the order with uh, Alohi Areki. As they try to protect or add to this 5 2 lead, there's a slow oh, breaking pitch. Slow knuckleball. And it's in for a strike. Which is going to be our shortstop. In the bullpen, warming up for Hawaii, the closer. Yeah, Hunter Hiriyama, you're right. I kind of enjoy watching him play shortstop, though. <laughs> Oh, me too. I'm, this is an unbelievable play. So 
So Quaid opens up ahead in the count 0-2 with Micah Zeller. Here's the 0-2 pitch, fouled back to the screen. Man, it's gonna be hard, Mike, to take Yokomoto out of the game, you know, especially when it's five to two, and unless you put some more runs up. Nice effort by Brock at second base. That's gonna be a base hit for Zeller. So he leads off their half at number uh, six with a base hit single. And that'll bring up the number nine hitter, Jaron uh, Poopa Adaro. And we got to wonder right here, are they going to, is he going to bunt, sack bunt him over, or let him swing? Well, that could be two for two today, you know. I mean, he said they would bunt. Too bad we couldn't wire up uh, I know. Ole Gante here would ask him. <laughs> I don't know if we could put him on. He'd start laughing. Yes. Oh, yeah, they are squaring around. But he pulled back. Maybe he doesn't yeah. want to. <laughs> That's uh, Jared Abreu down at third base. He's been with uh, Ole a long time. Ole's been uh, coaching this team or this program for over 20 years now. Oh, he pulls back again, so maybe he doesn't. Man, <laughs> they said, the umpire said it was up. There's That's a strike there. <laughs> Same pitch. He's not very big, but he, he left for uh, Southwest Oregon. They said he had a 91 mile an hour fastball. But he went off and he came back and it was what, 71 or something like 70, that? 70, yeah, 70. I'm not laughing at that. I'm yeah. laughing at the bunt. Of, like we said, that uh, Ole Gante <laughs> said that they do not get it down on purpose. And you can see him there at the top of the dugout. Nobody down. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Poopa Adero. And you see Oli. Yeah, there's Oli. Adero's uh, uncle, Jason, was the 1995 Legion National Player of the Year. Got him swinging. So the number nine hitter goes down on strikes, and Alohi Areki. Getting ready to step in. We're going to have another conference on the mound with uh, Tyler Quaid. And Maryland has had somebody warming up in the bullpen, and that looks like uh, yeah, that's going to do it for him. Yeah. So we'll take a timeout right now. We're in the uh, sixth inning of a 5 2 ball game. Uh, Hawaii 5 8 0, and Maryland 2 2 2. We'll be back with that pitching change after this. So Gavin uh, Wathen, uh, who just graduated from uh, Leonardtown High School in Maryland, uh, takes over in relief. Yeah, Gavin's going to throw fastball, curveball, and a change. But uh, during the regional, he only had two-thirds of innings pitched. 
one and zero come in, got a win. Uh, during the regular season, he was one and one. So, you know, when you see that, you know, it's kind of like a specialty guy coming in to get somebody out. So, that may be what they're thinking here because they don't need to give up any more runs. Yeah, uh, two thirds of an inning, he came in and got out in six pitches, huh? Pitched out of a jam, and, th and then he stepped to the plate and doubled, which scored two. Which scored two, yeah. And in that ball game, uh, Cole Tarleton then, then had a walk-off home run to win it for Maryland. And uh, the rest is history. Here we are right now. We'll see if uh, Wathen can settle things down. And but the clock is ticking yeah. as we move to the uh, seventh inning after this. But give Quaid credit. I mean, he came in and did a great job. Three in his pitch, two hits, one strikeout, and responsible for the guy on first, but great job. First pitch up high for a ball. Alohi Areki walked and scored. Had an RBI and a fielder's choice in the second inning, and then uh, popped up to the Ethan Lettig at third. So he's 0 for 2. On in motion. And well, Brandon Mills thought about it. I'm not sure if he felt like the batter was in his way, but or he just didn't have a chance to get him. Well, it looked like he went on the on the right-handed batter's box, so he had plenty of room to throw, just didn't, didn't let it go. This one's high and outside for a ball. So Micah Zeller down at second base. See him wearing that mitt on his right hand. There's the 2 1 pitch. This one's going to be out of play. Foul down the third baseline into the stands, and it's 2 and 2. You know, Mike, we're talking about, you know, Yukimoto, how well he's pitched and his pitch count. He's at pitch number, when he comes back out, would be pitch number 72. And you got to wonder if uh, Olegante was thinking, you know, you get to pitch 80, then he wouldn't be able to pitch the rest of this tournament if he goes over 80 pitches. So, you know, he's trying to maybe figure out a way to save him. And, Hold your breath. I just saw a flash of lightning over that wall in left center. This one's popped out of play behind the screen, right behind the press box, so the count still goes to two and two. And I didn't mean that literally. You don't have no, to hold I your know. breath literally, so you can breathe now. But <laughs> be bad right here in this situation, to, you know, especially when everything's going the way it is. And yeah, apparently, we don't want any delays here. Well, apparently the umpires didn't see it. It was a good flash, too. We're sitting a little bit higher. One down, runner at second base. Here's the 2-2 delivery. Wathen ready to work. Fly ball, right field. This one's deep. Jamison going back. He's going back. He catches it just in front of the warning track. And Hawaii with two down after the... Uh, Runner tags, has a runner down at third base. And I thought he'd hit that ball. A, I thought he hit it out of the ballpark when it left the bat and it just kind of died. Yeah, Dimitri Jameson had to go way back, right in front of the warning track. So there's two down runner at third base and here's a Hunter Hiriyama, who's played uh, such spectacular shortstop. And was just warming up in the bullpen to possibly pitch. So. Early in our second game, or second day, I should say, for us. But I think uh, watching him play shortstop, I think he should be on the all-tournament team already. Absolutely. He's, He's made some unbelievable plays. And you see Maryland there. They thought that uh, he may have left second base early, and they appealed second on the t for the tag. First pitch in for a strike. Hiriyama singled and scored back in the first inning. Then he walked. 
Then he hit a fly ball to center field out to a Cole Tarleton. He's one for two. Nice pitch, good swing, and it's 0 2. Little bouncer back to Gavin Wathen. He picks it up, takes his time, fires it over to the big guy at first, Sean Cameron. Hawaii leaves yet another runner stranded on the base pass. 5-2 as we head for the seventh. USAA is made for the safe pilots, like Matt, who can come to a stop with barely a bobble. With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. We were there to write the original GI Bill and get it signed into law. When a community found itself in the middle of a natural disaster. For more than 100 years, veterans have been strengthening our nation through the American Legion. Through programs that help our nation's youth become tomorrow's leaders and by helping veterans receive the benefits they earn through their service. Learn more about how we're helping in your community at legion.org. USAA is made for the safe pilots, like Matt, who can come to a stop with barely a bobble. With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. The American Legion World Series is brought to you by the American Legion and by Cleveland County Tourism. There's the uh, concession area here on uh, Keter Stadium. As we head for the top of the seventh inning, uh, Maryland's last shot now trailing by three. Maryland only uh, two base hits on the whole night against Ty Yokomoto. Yeah, he's pitched a great ball game. He's kept him intact, and you know, you gotta wonder, like we were talking about with the pitch count coming up, he's on um, pitch number 72 coming up and once you hit that 81 mark he'd be done for the rest of this tournament so that's gonna be an interesting factor here so in the seventh inning uh, maryland sending up the middle of the order here's chase odell the shortstop leading things off first pitch outside for a ball three games coming up tomorrow starting at one o'clock it's going to be iowa trying to crack into the win column against idaho falls the defending champions we won a very entertaining 3-2 uh, ball game against uh, Michigan. Michigan will play at 4 o'clock against uh, Beverly, Massachusetts. Massachusetts looking impressive in their first win. And then we'll wrap things up uh, with Tupelo, Mississippi, who climbed back into the win column today. They're 1-1. One one. They'll take on this Hawaii team. Yeah, they their bats got hot today, so this will be an interesting matchup between them in Hawaii. Yeah. You know, it'd be. Pop up right side. Should be easy play for uh, Ethan Thomas. And there's one down here in the seventh inning. So Logan Black, who had the hot bat in the regional, still looking for that first base hit. 0 for 3 last night. Flew out to the center fielder and struck out. He's 0 for 2. So 0 for 5 for the tournament so far. You know, I've, you know, just the way baseball is now, Mike, you know, it's five to two. We're in the last inning. Used to be people would take, you know, until they got the, you know, until the winning run or tying run got to the plate, you'd take, make sure you took a, took a pitch for a strike and before you swung, but then they're getting after it. So Ty Okamoto went out away from going the distance and Hawaii went out away from going to two and oh. And you're absolutely right so with Mississippi winning today and banging out 11 runs on 10 hits that uh, Hawaii Mississippi game would be a good way to wrap up the day tomorrow. Here's Cole Tarleton struck out grounded out to uh, Oshiro at second. So he's over two. Maryland, the first team for Maryland uh, to advance since 2009 to the World Series. I should say Ridge, Maryland. 
give credit where credit is due. And this here, right here, Mike, this is pitch number 80. So, and they're sitting there at the top of the dugout talking. So let's see what they do. And yips, and here he comes. And that's where that pitch count comes into play. I mean, you've got to, you yeah, know. Yeah, that uh, makes a lot of sense. The fans here are not going to like it, but that's what you got to do. So Tai Okamoto goes uh, six and two-thirds inning. Giving up just two runs on two hits. And we're going to take a time out here. And when we come back, uh, we'll give you the, uh, the reliever. The one out away from the victory. So Hunter uh, Hirayama goes from short to pitch to close things out. Yokomoto goes over to shortstop, so they switch possessions. And uh, Hirayama takes over a 2-1 count. First pitch for a ball. It's 3-1 now to Cole Tarleton. Ethan Lettig waiting on deck, hoping to get another chance at the plate. And now they're down to their last strike. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, up by three. There's a shot, and they remain alive. So Tarleton gets his first base hit of the night. And we move on to Ethan Luddick with Brandon Mills on deck. And now there's going to be a. Eligante is putting in someone to play right field and moving somebody around. <laughs> so Josh Arabal goes out to right field. And I don't know if I missed something or. <laughs> Maybe he's going to go to the bullpen and warm up. Or he hurt himself going to get that ball. Anyway, I don't think so. Here's Ethan Lettig. He pitched that gem last night. Finished his freshman year at the University of Maryland with a 4.5 GPA. And this should do it. High fly ball coming in strong. And Hunter Sasaki puts it away. And Hawaii goes to 2 0. Maryland now 1 1, with Hawaii taking on a very good Mississippi club tomorrow. So, Woody, uh, your thoughts on the ball game uh, outside that first inning, which was crazy? Yeah, I mean, Yukimoto, six and two thirds innings pitch, two runs, two earned runs. Six strikeouts, maybe, I think. I mean, it was all, you know, there uh, from the very first inning. Two runs, Maryland guy, but goose eggs on the board the rest of the way. And then Hiriyama, the way he played at shortstop, unbelievable at shortstop. And, man, they're a good ball club. Only three hits for Maryland. Uh, great pitching uh, going on. And uh, they give up two in the first inning, on both on the air, two airs, actually. And uh, that proves very costly, although they do lose it by three. So Hawaii goes to 2-0. and North Dakota losing earlier, they're 0-2. Maryland and Mississippi now 1-1. 
And uh, we've got a good matchup uh, coming up tomorrow with uh, two of the three games. Idaho Falls, the defending champs, open up against Iowa. Michigan takes on Massachusetts at 4 o'clock, and then uh, Mississippi and Hawaii go at it at uh, 7.30 tomorrow. So before we say goodnight, what are your final thoughts? Uh, another long day of baseball. Long day of baseball, but uh, some good baseball. And, you know, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, some of these matchups, and especially watching this uh, Hawaii team play a good Mississippi team. The bats kind of come alive. The team from Honolulu drops the curtain on day two of the 2021 American Legion World Series, and they drop the curtain with another.